What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through a question that I get a lot, and that's how do you film yourself while you're on the kayak? Um, and I've got a couple different ways of doing it, um, and I'm going to show you what I do, the cameras that I use, and a couple other cool things like this action hat that I'm going to be using to film a DIY camera mount for your kayak without having to drill into your kayak. So if you want to see this DIY, click the card in the top right corner of the screen. This is what Cora and I use to film. I film with my GoPro a little bit higher of a mount. She has a lower mount, and I'm going to show you exactly how we do it in this video, so click that top right corner. So now that I've showed you how I mount these things to my kayak, I'm going to show you the cameras we use. I've got two of these Ion Air Pros. I'll show you those. Those are a cheap camera that you can use. Uh, they're around, you know, you can get them anywhere from like $200. We ended up actually getting them for like $80 to $100 because they randomly go on sale at different times for really cheap prices. And for $80, I mean, this does 1080p uh, video, so super good high definition video. It gets good quality audio as well, which is key. I mean, it's a $100 camera, so it's not amazing by any standards, but we use, we do this for a lot of the different film uh, filming stuff that we do, and as you can tell, it's usually pretty darn good. Um, so that's the camera that actually goes on the back of Cora's kayak, and it's a third camera that I use on my kayak occasionally to get some extra shots. Uh, another camera that I've had, this is actually the first camera I got, was a Hero 3. Cora and I bought this in Florida while we were on vacation. Um, and it's a great or it's a great filming for kayaks. It's a great camera to have. Um, again, I just made that mount, but a GoPro Hero 3 again, high definition, 1080p. Uh, it gets good audio when you don't have the waterproof casing on it like that. Um, so it gets pretty good audio. Wind noise is a problem, but I'll be fixing that pretty soon with this thing. But that's one of the cameras that I use. I like it a lot. It gets good video. Um, and then another thing is the GoPro Hero 4 session. This thing is incredible. I really like it. They just dropped the price to 200 bucks and I made it a steal. It does exceptionally good video quality. Not as good as the Hero 4 Silver, but it's really good for what we use. It's the best quality that we have in these action cameras. Uh, it gets really good audio. It's got two mics. It does get wind noise, but it mutes the mid wind noise and still picks up all of the things that you're saying. So it makes it a really good camera, especially in like higher wind situations. And you're still going to be able to hear a lot of the audio and it kind of mutes the wind noise to the background, which is really good. Now I have this mounted to my favorite filming piece of equipment, which is the Action Hat. I use this pretty much every trip that I go out. Uh, I have it mounted, that's five different mounting locations, front, top, two sides, and the back. I have it to the back right now because that's the easiest way to point it straight down and get a lot of DIY stuff. When I'm fishing, I usually have it on the front so that you know you get the benefits of a hat, but you still get to film POV. Way better than a headband, way more comfortable than a headband, um, looks better than a headband, and way better than having your camera mounted to the bill of your cap. And I'll show you exactly why right now, because I used to have my camera mounted to the bill of my hat and it really was not a good thing, as you're about to see. So yeah, while I was throwing my cast net, that thing came flying off because the rope caught the bill uh, camera and threw my GoPro straight into the water. Luckily I had a float on my GoPro at the time and I was able to retrieve it by throwing the cast net back at it. But this will never happen again with this Action Hat. Uh, if you don't know about it, go to actionhat.com, get yourself one. Also follow the genius behind the, the Action Hat, Rex Del Rey. He's awesome, makes really awesome videos, and made a really awesome piece of filming equipment for a lot of different situations. I really like it, and you definitely have to check it out, especially if you're going to be kayak fishing and you want a good POV. Uh, this is the way to go, especially when you're sight casting, when you're throwing top waters. Uh, you know, so much that you can do with this with this hat that you can't do with any other type of head mount. It's just so much more comfortable. Um, I think I've talked enough about how much I like this thing, so I'll leave it at that. And then, last but not least, I'll show you on the GoPro right now. I'll turn it on, and I'll show you what I'm filming this with. So this is the Panasonic Lumix 
uh, DMC 300. This is Cora's brand new camera. This is her baby. Uh, it does just fantastic pictures. It does fantastic video. I really like this camera. She loves this camera. I'm really happy that she got this camera because it does really good stuff for us. It gets great pictures while we're out on the water, which is fantastic. And it does pretty good uh, stuff while I'm filming, you know, the stuff that I've been filming today and what you've seen in this video. It does really exceptionally good video for that. And it, it's just awesome that you can, you know, you can see what you're doing flipped around forward. It flips in a lot of different directions. Um, it's just a great camera all around. Uh, it's actually splash proof, so, you know, you can get a little bit wet. It's not going to go anywhere. Dust proof, so it's a good outdoor camera as well. I really like this camera. Cora really likes this camera. So that's the last camera that we use. So that is the basics of what we use to film and how we film and the mounts that we use. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below or email me at redhuntertx at gmail.com. If you have any questions about any of the cameras we're using, definitely ask them. If you have different cameras, different action cameras, like the Garmin, I'm really interested to see what you guys think about those kind of cameras, because I really like these cameras, uh, especially this Hero 4 Session. I think it's great for its price of $200. So I believe that is going to be it. If you have any questions, like I said, email redhuntertx at gmail.com. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. That would be much appreciated. And check out us using these filming techniques to our benefit on the channel. Check out all of our fishing videos and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.